Okay, I'm going to take you down to the exam room. When I think of a manly man, I think of somebody who has strength, endurance, sexual prowess, and fertility. And in fact, what the scientific studies are showing is that the more meat men eat, the more quickly they lose their manly manhood. The blood test with the Miami Dolphins measured how a single meal could affect blood flow throughout the entire body. I asked Dr. Spitz if he could conduct an experiment with three collegiate athletes, but this time on a more specific part of the male anatomy. So, <laughs> there's a model of the penis. Dr. Spitz is the lead delegate of urology for the American Medical Association. When it comes to the penis, he literally wrote the book. Now you're gonna be putting this device on yourself. One ring goes on the base of the penis, and the other ring goes on at the tip of the penis, just behind the head of the penis, but knows how tight to squeeze to know when an erection is starting, because when it squeezes, it'll determine, oh, it's now of a larger circumference, something's happening. What we're going to look at is what effect the meal you have has on your erections that night. And you're gonna be eating two different kinds of meals. For the study, on the first night, we gave the guys burritos that had meat beef, chicken, pork, but really high quality meats, grass fed, organic. On the second night, we gave them very similar burritos, but we swapped out the animal portions for plant-based protein. That's really good. I thought this was gonna be nasty, I'm not gonna lie. I didn't think we were gonna eat a burrito, I thought we were gonna eat a salad. <laughs> <laughs> this study is gonna take advantage of a natural function that occurs in men when they sleep. Men's bodies create erections, and this occurs throughout the night while the subject is asleep. And once an erection happens, this device can sense it, and a printout is generated of how firm the erection was, how long it lasted, and how many of them there were, to see if we can see a physical effect on erections as a result of what they just ate for dinner. This is where we uh, take a look at the results. So Mason, I'm gonna give you your results first. Let you take those out. Okay. The bigger the circumference, the harder the erection. And so you'll notice that that first circle, which is the, the meat meal, is not as big a circle, it's not as hard an erection as that second circle, the vegan meal. Now let's look at the second sheet. The second sheet is a, a accumulation of how many erections and for how long you had over the course of the night. So that first stubby graph <laughs> is really, it's not the size of your penis. <laughs> it's not the size of your penis. It's how, how many minutes throughout the night you had erection. Wow. Boy, let's take a look at your results. <laughs> and look, again, like Mason, uh, you were more erect after the plant-based diet to the meat-based diet. Okay, how about how often you had erections? Wow. <laughs> <laughs> That's almost a 500% difference. Hey, man. That's crazy. Blake, you ready for yours? Mm, All right, there you go. <laughs> you had about a 13% change in the hardness of your erections. Okay, let's look at how many or how long you had erections for. <laughs> <laughs> Show it, take it. Yeah. Don't hold that up. <laughs> bro, that's an hour, bro. <laughs> so you guys all had a very similar response to the meat meal versus the plant meal. That's crazy. Yeah, growing up, if I saw it. Some big dude at a restaurant eating a big old steak. And so I'm like, oh, I, I need to be like that. And then, like, I see like a guy ordering a salad off the menu. I'm like, he saw it, right? Yeah, I'm like, oh, that guy. <laughs> he, what is he, he doing? Saw. But really, at the end of the night, the guy eating the big steak is soft. And then the heart. So, when you take your date out on Valentine's Day, where are you going to take them to eat? To the veggie grill. So okay, the veggie grill. <laughs> now, this is not a scientifically validated study but the results that we're seeing are very exciting. I think this is going to wake a lot of people up. I think it's gonna wake up people who have penises, and I think it's gonna wake up people who like people who have penises.